So why did I buy this LS and not the New Holland? Stick with me, it may not be what you think. All right, we are going to be talking about the MT573 versus the New Holland Power Star 75. Now, I want to mention that I looked at case tractors as well. I looked at their, uh, I think it's a 75C as well as our A in the New Holland. I also looked at the Workmaster. With that said, I need to tell you that this, the Power Star uh, 75 and the Case 75C are the same tractors. They're, they basically roll off the same assembly line. They get different paint colors. One is red and one is blue. So there's not a lot of difference in them. The layout's the same in the cab. Uh, lift capacities are all the same. That's all the same. So as we go through today's video, when I talk about the Power Star, you're going to hear me talk about the Power Star and the Case Tractor. They're the same tractors. I may not mention the case tractor, but they are the same. And I did look at both of them. So you might be wondering why I say that you'll be surprised at why I bought the LS over the, the uh, New Holland. It's not what you think. It has nothing to do with money this time. But we're gonna get into some details on the, on the two. We're gonna talk about the differences between them. Then I'm gonna tell you why I bought the LS over the New Holland. Okay, so like in all of our other videos we've had to do when we did a comparison between two different tractors, I go through the specs first, and we're gonna do that on this one too so that you have a better idea of what, how the two tractors compared. So let's get started. The LS, on the LS is a four cylinder, 73 horsepower with 62 horsepower at the PTO. Whereas on the New Holland, it was also a four cylinder, 74 horsepower, 65 horsepower at the PTO. Now LS makes their own engine. In the New Holland, in the Power Star, it had a Fiat motor in it. So as far as the emission systems go between the two tractors, I'm going to tell you straight up front that the New Holland had a DOC and LS uses a DPF. I like the DOC better because it's just a little bit less, uh, it doesn't have to go through that regen and so forth. But the reasons I bought the LS had nothing to do with the emission systems. The two tractors have two different transmissions in them. Um, this tractor has a 12 by 12 with creeper, making it a 20 by 20 transmission. It did have a three range, four speed transmission in it. Now, the New Holland came standard with a 12 by 12. It was also a three uh, range, four speed transmission, but you did have the option to buy a creeper and the creeper would put it back up to a 20 by 20. So there is a similarity there but they are two different transmissions when it comes down to what the standard features were. Now, when it comes to the hydraulic system on these two tractors, the LS has a 13.2 gallon per minute implement pump. Now, New Holland used a 12.9 gallon per minute implement pump, but on the New Holland, they also had a steering pump as well as the LS does, but New Holland had actually had a 9.5 gallon per per minute implement, I mean a steering pump, and the LS had a 6.6 .6 gallon. So actually the New Holland steering pump was a, a better flowing pump and was probably a better pump when it comes down to that. All right, so when it came to the remotes on the two tractors, as you have heard me say many a times, LS puts three remotes in their on the on the 573. We need to keep that in mind. We're talking about the LSMT 573. None of the lower ones like the, L, the MT 460s or, or 68s or any of those, we're talking about the five series. So keeping this in perspective, the LS uses, has three uh, remotes on the back. Now New Holland came standard with two remotes and it's not too bad, but if you wanted that third remote, you would have to add that to the price of the New Holland. All right, we're gonna talk about the, the three-point system between the two tractors. Both LS and New Holland were category two three-point systems, okay? 
The three-point system on the LS, on its lifting capacity though, was uh, at the pin, and that would be right here at the pin, was 6,614 pounds. Now at the pin on the New Holland, it was 4,832 pounds. But what we're looking for a lot of times is that 24 inches from that location. So from here, 24 inches back on the LS, we're looking at 4,079 pounds. Whereas on the New Holland, at 24 inches back, we were at 3,664 pounds. So there was a right at, not, not quite, but well, right at 500 pound difference on the 24 inches lifting capacity on the two tractors. So on the three point system between the LS and the New Holland, the, the LS uses exterior cylinders um, to, to help with the lifting of, of your equipment. Whereas the New Holland only had the interior cylinder on it. So that is probably one of the reasons that there's a lot, lot more lift capacity on this tractor is because it does use the exterior cylinders to assist in that lifting. Now, the two tractors did have uh, the lever here in the back to help you while you're hooking up your implements. So you can lift and lower with this lever. We've got other videos that you can see the lever being used. Now, New Holland had the same thing. On some of their tractors, it seemed to be an option, but the tractors I did look at, it was already on them. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cylinder that comes up right here and it has a it has a lever that goes down and then goes to your three point uh your three point valve and it's a design to move slowly to lift slowly and so forth it's not a bad design it's just different okay let's talk about this loader for a minute and the, the differences between the two loaders I've already told y'all before on some of the other videos that we do I don't I'm not going to get into all the heights and and so forth and the reason not, because they're pretty close to the same, and especially between the LS and the New Holland. Actually, they were very close when it comes to heights and so forth. But where the differences were is that on the LS, it has a lift capacity at the pin of 3,626 pounds, whereas the New Holland had a lift capacity of 3,461 pounds. Now, the breakout force of this tractor, of this loader, is 6,644 pounds. On the New Holland, I really do not know what the breakout force was. And so instead of giving you some bad information there, look it up, see if you can find that. But I don't know what the actual breakout force was on that loader. Now, New Holland had just a standard loader, uh, whereas the LS came with a self-leveling loader. Now, here's the difference though. I have to tell you guys that I believe in my personal opinion here, is that the New Holland loader was a little more rigid, a, a little stouter than this loader when it comes to the, the build quality. So I give actually give New Holland a little bit better, as a little bit better loader maybe because of the build quality. But at the same time, we're not comparing total apples for apples because this is a self-leveling loader. And on the Power Star, I was looking at a standard straight out loader without the self-leveling system. So I had, I cannot really compare the two, but in my opinion, again, the New Holland had a more robust loader on it. So between the LS and the New Holland, one of the other differences was the third function. Now New Holland did have the third function on their tractors. They did, they did, but they did not have the, the valve for the third function that was an option they do they, they did have it integrated into their handle now ls does have the third function valve already on the tractor and then it has then you have to uh, add the hoses if you want your third function now with that said though i was i went to two different dealers that sold uh new holland one of those dealers his tractor already had the third function on the tractor the second dealer that i went to he did not have the third function on his power star and i talked to him about putting a third function on it and the price tag of that third function was about sixteen hundred dollars whereas on this tractor it's already there 
And the hose kit, if you have to put the hose kit on, is between, I think, between three to $400 on this uh, system because you already have the valve uh, on this tractor. And that's where most of your cost is at. So one of the other things that we need to talk about is the seats in both tractors. New Holland had an air ride seat. Now, I don't remember what brand the air ride seat was, but they did have an air ride seat. The uh, LS has an air ride seat. Uh, by the way, this is a Graham seat. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that in any of our other videos, but these seats are right around $1,000. But I got to give New Holland. New Holland did have the air ride seat. All right, so let's talk about the differences between the LS and the New Holland Power Star uh, on the layout itself. Look, I liked the way New Holland laid their stuff out. They have what's called a command arch, and it was it was a very nice setup, and it was well done. But I will tell you, the, the two tractors are very similar in their layout. LS's layout is not far away from what the uh, New Holland layout is and so it's a very comfortable layout on both tractors so it's kind of a toss-up for me on which layout that i liked better with the exception of one thing on the new holland they had swapped the loader stick to here and they had taken the gear shift and they had put it here that is a more comfortable position because your loader was in this position right here and if you're using your armrest, you, you had a more comfortable position to operate the tractor. So I give that to New Holland for sure. Uh, this one here is kind of a reach. It's not uncomfortable. Like I've said in other videos, it's not uncomfortable. Matter of fact, the Workmaster puts theirs over here, but theirs is like up here, which is really in a, in a bad place, in my opinion. But on the LS, they, 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 they've turned it and brought it in a little closer. But New Holland's setup the loader on their power star was much better one of the other things that i personally liked better about the power star is it did have a six post cab i like that a little bit better i think we've talked in another video where jason liked the four post cab a little bit better but i still like the six post cab i think it's a it's a, it's a lot of preference there and it doesn't really matter but i like the six post cab in the in the new holland uh, tractor because I liked the way they had had put all their instruments or all I liked the way they had put all their switches uh, in this these side post. Now one of the other things that I did not like about the New Holland though was that they did have this Vizio sunroof or whatever we want to call this thing today and theirs was made out of a plastic or an acrylic. I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's a plexiglass but it was it was it was plastic not not glass ls has a glass roof in their tractors now is that a positive or negative well in my opinion i like the glass a little bit better so one of the other features about new holland which was actually a lot better than the ls was they put a buddy seat in they actually had in both not only not only did the power star have the buddy seat but uh, the, the Workmaster has one to, as well. I uh, don't understand why they didn't put a buddy seat in this. Now, you can option for this buddy seat or this instructor seat, but I'm going to tell you right now, without beating around the bush, this seat is expensive to buy. And the New Holland had the seat in it, and I wish that LS had put a buddy seat or an instructor seat in these tractors. All right, so now you're probably wondering, well, you know, there was a lot of features about the New Holland that you liked a lot better on, on it than you did on the LS maybe or so forth. But there are, some, there are some features that need to be talked about that changed my mind on the New Holland, and that's what we're getting ready to get into now. So stay with me now. So if you look at where my leg is, I can stick my leg all the way out here, and I can't even touch the post. Remember, I am six foot four, so I'm not this little short guy trying to, and, and that's nothing, that's not a ploy against short people, but I'm not a short guy. And so my legs are long. I wear a 38 length jean. So I can't touch that. Now, why can't I touch that? Well, that was because on the New Holland, the seats were pushed forward a little bit on them, and there was not much room behind the seat to the back of the cab. Now, my dealer worked with me on, on this on the LS, 
the LS seat has been moved back probably about two to three inches so that I fit better in this tractor. That could not be done on the New Holland as we looked all over that seat and if we move that seat back any, we were against the back glass and that was not gonna happen. So we were able to move this back a little bit. But even at the rate that we're talking about, if the seat was up this far, I can now touch it. So that was a big deal to me. I had to have enough room to drive the tractor. All right, so now the major deal, one of the major deals was the shuttle shift. The New Holland shuttle shift was a, um, it, it was a shuttle shift that you do not have to use a clutch on, but it did not have any style of adjustments for as how hard it engages. So the engagement on that tractor was a little bit harsh. And so what I mean by that is if your RPMs were up and you didn't, you know, you were to shift from forward to reverse and maybe you didn't come to a complete stop or whatever, that tractor would literally spin the tires because of the, the harshness of that shift. LS uses the, a shuttle shift that you can adjust that engagement on how hard that shuttle hits. So if I go forward, it can take off as hard as I want it to or as light as I want it to. And if I go to reverse, it can also do the same thing. There is a whole video about how to use this and how to set this. Might want to check that out. One of the other things though, the New Holland did not have a declutch button as well. And I wanted the declutch button. And when you're shifting gears and not having to go back and forth to the clutch, that made a big deal for me. Now I need to tell you why, because this will make more. This 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 might make a little more uh, more sense to you, uh, and and have a better understanding. I have a lot of steel in me. Okay, I've been replaced. I'm recyclable. Let's just say that. And some of my parts of my legs don't work so well getting on the clutch anymore. And when I was in the New Holland. I could not get my leg up to put it on the clutch to shift gears. And that made a, a, a problem for me. And so that was, a, that was an issue that came up during the process of looking at buying this tractor. Now I would have to be on the clutch all the time in order to shift gears on that tractor. I may not have to be on the clutch so much for shuttling forward and reverse, but if I wanted to shift from first gear, second gear, and so forth, I had to be on the clutch. You still have to be on the clutch on this tractor for shifting ranges and other things such as that, but you do not have, you have a declutch button, whereas the New Holland did not. So that was a big factor for me. So let's talk about one of the other features that I did not like about the New Holland that the LS did a much better job on. Um, your service on the New Holland required you to do some finagling just to get the filters out of it. Uh, you had to remove a, a couple of clamps and move some hoses out of your way. Some wiring had to be moved, if I remember correctly. And then your loader, it, all your filters were behind the loader frame right here. And so they were very difficult to get to. Now I have a lot of room in here on this one, but on that one it was very tight and you had to remove a lot of that stuff. Not only that, though, if you're just trying to change the oil in your tractor, you had to remove the fuel filters to get the oil filter. And now I didn't see another way of doing it. There's actually a lot of service videos on uh, the New Holland, and you can look back at some of those and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, that was a feature that started to turn me off really quick. Now, what New Holland does say is that you have a 600 hour service on their tractor. Um, that's up to you. Look, I'm not big on 600 hour service because oil gets dirty. And it's not, the, it's not how slick the oil is, it's how dirty the oil is. And I think you should change your oil more than 600 hours. And that's just my opinion on that for now. You can go with whatever you wanna do, but the service was going to be extremely difficult to do. Now, I not only have seen this, but I know someone that goes through this. And so I've, I've got like basically secondhand maybe, but 
at least I have seen what it takes to do this filter changes on these tractors on the new Holland. You guys just watched us do the 50 hour service. Look back at that video. It was not bad at all, except for getting the hydraulic filter off. But other than that, it was not bad. So <laughs> let me tell you a small story. While I was driving and moving the uh, New Holland tractor around, we had to park it back where it was at. Now it was sitting on a small incline where it was parked at. It was not very steep, but I started to back up that incline and the back tires just sit there and spin. I literally had to put the thing in four wheel drive to get it to back all the way up. Now I know that you can put some more ballast in the back tires and so forth, but the New Holland that I looked at also already had wheel weights on it and it still could not back up that hill for some reason. And I, I thought, wow, that it, this thing's really light on the rear end. And uh, so I ended up having to put it in four wheel drive just to park it there. So I've told you my reasoning for buying the LS over the net New Holland. Maybe you can see why I tr bought the LS over the New Holland. It had a lot more to do with the functionality of the tractor than it did the price or anything else. New Holland was about $9,000 more than the LS tractor was. I, I still liked it. And matter of fact, I almost bought one. I came very, very, very close to signing that dotted line. Now, why did I choose the LS over the New Holland? Because the same day I drove to the LS dealer and drove this tractor right here. Then I drove straight to the New Holland place, which is about 50 miles away. And I got in it, that tractor and I drove it. And once I did that the same day, and I felt the differences of the two tractors, I felt the qualities of the two tractors, even though I still say that the New Holland had some qualities that I liked a little bit better. I chose the LS and not the New Holland. And that's my reasoning. Until next time, thanks.